We've been out here for days on end, stranded in the wilderness. Provisions are running low. Water is almost out. My camera battery is dead. I haven't seen civilization ever. We haven't seen civilization in days. I feel like civilization doesn't exist anymore. And those cars are distracting me like, uh, they remind me so much of civilization. Maybe if there was only some kind of sign. If this, does, if this goes wrong, I might have to eat Gabe. Uh. So, so the first time I ever went backpacking alone, I was hiking up the Salmon River Trail. You know, I go out, find this nice place to set my tent. And as I'm setting up my tent, I, I'm, sitting, I'm sitting at the edge of the tent, of the tent zipper, and I feel this cold wash over the back of my neck. My neck starts to feel all prickly. I remember reading the sign at the front of the trailhead that says, be wary of cougars. Uh oh. Oh fuck. So, I can tell by the archaic ruins that people lived here long before us. Yes. These are archa these archaic signs. Ancient ruins. These these depict a struggle. They're they're ruins. You look over here and you see that it's depict it's depicting love. The, the, uh, probably some person in a village, a prince most likely, fell in love. But as his journey went on, his love became less and less defined until he became sharp and jagged and relentless. He had to put a smile on to, to make it to hide his pain. He had, to, he had to fake a smile, and eventually, all he could all he could settle with was pizza. That's what I take from these from these archaic ruins is that pizza they is the savior. PhD in uh, archaeology, PhD in ruinology, and a PhD in graffitiology. R I P. What could this mean? Ratatouille is Popular? proud. Oh. And here we have more symbols. These ones are a bit hard to decipher, so I'll try my best at it. Each of these lines is a murder that has happened here. <laughs> and oh we no. Them, we, got one. we got quite a lot, so there's been quite a lot of murders in this area. But so the moral right is we're in danger. Yeah. I found a spider web. Uh, and I found a spider. Hey, welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play. He's, he's running from something. We're all running from something. Okay, we come to a spot. I think it's this way because the map says so. Is it a billy goat? Nah, it's a spider. Grab my hand! <laughs> Perfect teamwork. <laughs> okay. I don't know. You know that song that goes. Like, I, I can't sing it, but... Yeah. Look, look at these trees. It's amazing that nature grows this. I mean, look at that fence. Can you believe that nature grew something like that in that deck? Can you believe nature grew a deck? Yeah. What kind of tree is that? The deck tree? It's crazy. Complete with rocks. I know. Seriously. Here's a, here, here's a canopy shaped, like the dawn redwood, giant sec, sequoia, 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 and a coast redwood. And the most biggest tree of all, the space needle. That's a giant sequoia, what are you talking about? Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> the most biggest tree of all, the giant sequoia. No one knows how these stones got here, or how long ago they came to be. But they do make good chairs. Bag got dirty. They say this clearing was used for some kind of rituals at the summer solstice, also known as July 4th. That's the day! The legends were true. Oh no. 
Oh no, I spilled my water again. Oh. Uh, is anyone else? Anyone else seeing this? Anyone else? Uh, guys? Is anyone? What the fuck? Where'd he go? Snake hole. Oh, really aggressive gophers. Or really aggressive stepping. This is a depiction of some ancient deity my, my known as the walking man, the my one who walks. Was telling me that years ago, people actually used these for transportation. Maybe some kind of teleportation beacons. Let's see if I can get it to work. The thing. Actually, I don't know this trail. This is where my ex-girlfriend and I went hiking. Take a trip down into the memory lane. It says time to do the dishes. Oh shit. What could this mean? We gotta get home. Oh no. Oh hey wait. Is that a, a building? Is that an ancient temple? Quick, zoom in hands. You can zoom in in uh, post, so. Yeah, it's gonna be like eight pixels. Yeah, just zoom in to the point where you can't like make anything out. I think it was Ansel who said that I look like I'd be a protagonist in a free world, free roam game or a, or a parkour game. I mean, he was literally just playing Watch Dogs 2, basically like. There you have it. Can I fit in this? No. Let's find out. No, you can't. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Crap. For sure. Hey kids, do you respect trees? Do you respect Mother Nature? My name's the Lorax, and I speak for the trees. Take some tree stuff. No more chopping down trees. Do you respect nature? Do you every time you cut down a tree, do you plant one back? Yep. Christmas is murder. Ancient ruins of. Well, we don't know. The ancient ruins of well, we don't know. Little is known about what we don't know, but what we don't know, we don't know. So we don't know what we don't know. Shut the fuck up. Wait, what are these tracks? They look like snake tracks. See how they're all in a line? <laughs> these are um definitely snakes. Two yeah. snakes, though. You can see, it looks to me like two snakes passed yeah. this way about uh, half an hour or so. We should find them. Um, is it? How, also might know is them. Is the scent still fresh? Still smells like snake. If you know yeah. what snake smells like, go to your local high school. It reeks of snake there. Wait, hang on. The trail just suddenly... Just goes cold. What might I say? This, this, the, the trail even goes stone cold. I think they jumped. That's the only explanation. They Gosh, must be darn jumping snakes. Yeah, they're not very common, but uh, they used to exist. Okay, would you explain the science behind how snakes can jump? Well, basically, the way it works is they have a special gland. Well, it's actually a muscle inside. Um, that well, you know, muscles contract and expand, right? Yeah. So snakes actually have a muscle that's shaped like a spiral. <laughs> And it's inside, it wraps around their whole body. Oh. And so it basically works like a spring where it can contract. So first they go up. Two hours later. Of them next to each other 
is pretty amazing. That's I mean, it. Yeah. Is this the snake hideout? Oh, could be. Let's let's go in for a closer look. I'm not going in there. <laughs> the fucking way. Hey, do you have a flashlight? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, this appears to be a tomb. Up, and then down. Wait, what's that in the corner? Some rubble? No, in the other corner. It looks like a person. Oh, shit. I'm but not fucking going in there. How many views will I get if I go in there? Uh, none. I'll contract probably hepatitis C or something. Oh, that might get you some views. Alright, well, I guess if you're really determined to go in... I mean... Alright, well, whatever. I'm checked out at this point. Just you do you. Uh, how's it going in there? Hello? What? Yeah, I can I can see that. Uh, do you feel anything? What? Cold. Cold. Okay. Any dead bodies? You okay? You want to come out? So, uh, what did you find? What was the result? Well, first of all, I'll have to clean my shoes. Like bleach my shoes. I think I stepped in something. Yeah. Um. Did you see any jumping snakes? I did not find any jumping snakes. I found some snake skin though, and that's you, weird. And you you were right. It had the coil, like the snake skin. It had a kind of a coil pattern inside it. We have made it through, and we appear to have found some kind of ancient village. We've made it through on our journey, and now we're here. I don't quite know where here is, but looks like we charge coin for carriages. Uh, my hand feels kind of numb, actually. I can't really. Yeah, you definitely got bitten by a snake, dude. I can't feel it at all. Hitting it on that doesn't hurt. Like, it's just pretty. It feels like, it feels like my hand's constantly asleep. All right. Owen, remember, subscribe for monthly, for daily, for daily content released monthly.